How are you at asking for help? I mean, what are your belief systems around it? Is it something that it's hard for you to do maybe? Or maybe you wait until the very last second until you're so absolutely frazzled that it comes across as a demand or as if you're being a victim or a martyr. <laughs> There's so many ways in which asking for help can be so incredibly difficult. And today I'm gonna give you some uh, straightforward ways to feel your way into how to, in a healthy way, ask for help, get the support you need, and actually be using your divine purpose at the same time. This is Zen in a Moment, a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from feeling stressed out to in the flow, flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. And I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. You know, we pick up our beliefs about help, getting help, and providing help from our parents, from our loved ones, from the people around us and their beliefs around it. You know, some people never would receive help in any way, shape, or form because they're too proud, you know? Or maybe your, one of your parents felt like they didn't want to owe anybody, so they were never going to let anybody help them. Also, maybe another parent always got help. Their, their own parents supported them throughout their entire life. Whenever they needed it, they would come in and bail them out, never allowing them to truly grow up. In these situations, we have a tendency to either accept the way that our parents received or didn't receive help, or we can rebel against it. I'm not going to be like them. I'm never going to let anybody help me. Or I'm not going to be like them. I'm going to need help. Another thing that can happen is, is that we take on so much, we try to like do it all all by ourselves, and then we get to a place where we go into breakdown. You know, maybe you just recognize you can go into breakdown and then you become controlling. Maybe you're running around the house screaming at your family, I need help with this and I need help with that. Or maybe it's the I have to do everything around here. Well, here's the thing. Whether or not you need help depends on whether it opens you. Now, when I say opening, I mean using your internal guidance system and feeling an expanded feeling a relaxed openness in the center of your body. If you have not felt your internal guidance system, go to zeninamoment.com and there on the homepage is a video that'll walk you through feeling your internal guidance system for yourself. This is a physical guidance system that you can feel that you were born with and it helps you in everyday moments to decide what is the right choice for you. And so in the relationship with asking for help, sometimes you'll feel a closing. That's a tight feeling in the center of your body, which means your internal guidance system, when you are thinking about asking someone for help, it'll show up feeling like stress, which is anxiety and worry and fear, or you could be feeling overwhelmed, right? Or frustrated and irritated. In those moments, those are closing. That means what you're thinking in that moment is not true or not going to happen. So in relationship to, let's say we're gonna take this martyr moment where you're starting to get super frustrated and overwhelmed and angry at everyone around you and you be, you're in the moment of wanting to lash out and demand and, and show how you do everything. You're gonna tell everybody how you have to do everything and go into your martyr moment, you're closed. That means what you're thinking about you doing everything around the house is not true. You're having a reactive moment and it's actually false. It's going to alienate your spouse. It's going to alienate your children. It's going to alienate coworkers. It's a defense mechanism that you have, and it's not healthy. It's not something that you can trust. And so it's time to back off and kind of drop in and use relaxation techniques, use your internal guidance system techniques if you've been studying with me, to find your openings, relax, and not create any wreckage. How, on the other hand, you may be thinking that you don't need help or you can't ask for help or you shouldn't get help and you'll once again be closed. You'll feel that anxiety or tense feeling. That means what you're thinking about getting help is not true and that you do need help and you should ask for help. And by using this navigation system inside of yourself, you can find the right people, the right timing, and the right things to ask for to get help on. We're not down here on this planet to do it all by ourselves. This is a collaborative effort. When you actually don't let somebody help you, when you're open to getting help, you're stopping them from living their divine purpose. Their divine purpose in that moment is to collaborate and be a part of your life. And by you not being able to get over your own ego, your own pride, your own issues, you're stopping that from happening, that collaboration from happening. And it's the same thing when somebody, you're open to helping somebody, let's say, right? And they don't let you help them. It's, it's just one of these moments where it's a shame. Now this stuff works equally with somebody who's asking you for your help. You can check in and feel whether it opens you to help them or not. 
If it doesn't open you to help them, it's, your help is not going to help. If it doesn't open you to help them, then it will hinder them. Or there's somebody else that is to provide that collaborative help that they need, and it's their divine purpose, not yours, to supply that. Right? So I remember this one time where I had a, a friend of mine who is a, also a family member, and we had a relative who was posting stuff on a social media outlet that was not good and they called me and said, you really need to help us with her. You know, you're the only one that can talk to her. And I got a closing. And what I got was an opening that the person who was asking for my help, it was their job. They're the ones who needed to step up. They were a lot younger than me, but they were in the picture at the time and still are. And they were, they're a matriarch of the family now. And they needed this training and this respect level and this putting their foot down to be a part of their lives. They were the right person, and it turned out great. I could have gone in and jumped in and fixed things, but then this beautiful, beautiful relationship and lesson, and somebody who was on the ground with the family, who could watch it and take care of it and get the respect from it, would have lost that opportunity. So I want to just encourage you to notice, notice, when you're going into these places where you're feeling overwhelmed or you don't have support, or maybe you're feeling like you can't do it on your own, and you need to cry out and have someone bail you out, see if that opens you. If you're feeling anxiety about asking for help, it's not for you to be asking for help. That's when you check in and find out if it opens you that you can do it on your own, that you can solve this, that you can find the resources. So I hope this helps. And once again, if you need to go back and review at zeninamoment.com, the, the exercise of using your internal guidance system. I have a ton of other podcasts there that show you how to use your internal guidance system in different situations. They're ongoing, so you can get a real good feel for this amazing part of yourself that you were born with. Please comment below. I want to know how you feel about asking for help or how you feel about others asking for your help. It, it's such a powerful, powerful thing. Please comment and tell me. I learned so much from hearing about other people's experiences in this area. And it really helps enhance my capacity to teach. Also, share, share, share. Please post this on Twitter and Facebook. It's right there on the podcast that you're listening to. And share it with your friends. I believe this information changes lives. So I thank you so much for your support and your help. I'm ever so grateful that you listen to these podcasts. And I look forward to meeting you someday and having you a part of my life. And until then, I'm sending you love and blessings. <laughs>